Joining me today to give us a sneak peek at the children's shoe range she's designed, as well as answering a few questions on her role as mum of two, is Mylene Class. Welcome. Hello. So, Mylene, there are so many strings to your bow, it's hard to know where to begin. Singer, musician, presenter, and now fashion as well. How has your life gone in that direction? I kind of think they all mix in together quite nicely, really, because you know, from the fashion side of things, I've worked with a lot of brands and had sort of inside information or like an insider knowledge as to how it works and you learn so much. And after sort of like, I suppose, 12 years in the industry mm. now, they all just mix together anyway. So the music element and the presenting element, I've always put those two together. And now I've almost put the music into the fashion as well. The shoe range that I've created with Start Right, I've named the, the shoes after all my favorite operas. So just little things like that, that, that link everything together it's it's it feels like that list is is you know sort of all all one really yeah i have to say you've got the creative gene for sure well, and hopefully because i didn't get the sports gene no <laughs> neither did i at terrible all. at netball um two beautiful little girls it has to be said you. ava and hero they're just gorgeous Thank are you. they following your footsteps in terms of liking fashion and yeah they love fashion i think you know they're little girls so yeah. you know at that age like i guess everyone likes sort of dressing up in their mum's clothes and and sort of you know, being very creative and you know drawing and sticking things down but um, you never know you just don't know I think by the by osmosis they'll pick it up um, and I'll obviously encourage them whatever they want to do but um, it's, it's a bit early to tell it is a bit early just to tell although there's research by start right that shows that children between four and six are really expressive or they're starting to be yeah. quite expressive through their clothes so is Ava showing She's hugely expressive. What I just admire, when you're, you know, four, she's going to be five in a couple of weeks, but when you're that age, she's just so inhibited. You, can, yeah. you wear what you like, you say what you like, which I think is good and bad in equal doses. Yeah. It's funny because the things you admire in adults, the traits of being challenging and, and outspoken and forthright, in a child, you're, you're kind of always trying to pacify that. Yes. And it's a real sort of, you know, I do find myself thinking, am I doing the right thing? I don't know. But um, when it comes to her clothes, yeah, she'll walk out in welly boots, a tutu and a Mac. And this is perfectly the norm. And I, I kind of let her. It's a great little outfit. It's a look. You know, there yeah. are people that would pay a stylist a lot of money to put that look together and she'll do it for free. I think they call that the festival look. She's ahead of her time, ahead of her time. <laughs> you know, you're right. You're yeah. Right. So, how old is Ava now? Ava's four. She's four. So, Here's one. according to the research, then, at about seven, yeah. between seven and nine, children really start being quite sticklers for what they want to wear and they start choosing their own clothes. Do you, can you see her going that I, way? I understand how that works because, you know, there's outside influences then. You're at school and then the children you're at school with have got older brothers and sisters and they're telling you what's cool. And, and, and yeah, you kind of know your own mind or you can walk yeah. to the wardrobe yourself and pick what you want. So, I suppose that's, that's why. Either that or people aren't necessarily telling the truth because, yeah, at four, you are putting your your outfits together and you you do know what you want yeah absolutely right we can't ignore these yes. beautiful shoes anymore they're <laughs> stunning tell us Thank about you. the range and how it was how it was inspired well i grew up as a start right baby my mum um, used to be a nurse so she's all about fitted footwear and looking after your feet and then you suddenly you know when you become a mum yourself you suddenly realize oh hang on a minute i remember yeah and it all sort of just comes flooding back and what i really love about what Start Right do, and that's why I initially became an ambassador for the, the company, is that you know they really do look after children's feet, and it's a health issue as well as just you know an aesthetic. And I think it's really important that you know, for example, when you're in the army, they say look after your feet. You have to look after your feet, yeah. and you don't want children who are going to have bunions and you know. I suppose bad backs and other health issues because you've just sort of shoved their their feet into what is deemed just a you know a quick a quick cheap fashionable shoe. So to start right, they 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 make fitted footwear. They measure the child's feet. The way that they execute the shoes means that there's growing room already incorporated, so you don't I have to worry about so that. Clever. Yeah, it's handy. It's like yeah. one of those things to worry about. And then I came on board and actually had the opportunity to to then say. But I've got an idea. How about some leopard print as well? And 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 you know, there's leopard print lining that that's been incorporated into the shoe, which makes it sassy, fun, and also the fact that I'm allowed to do spats or brogues, yes. or the fact that I'm allowed to do these cherry red shoes, which is how the whole collection <gasps> started. I mean, I just adore those. Dorothy, I was drawn to them straight away. It's a Dorothy it complex. It really is. Yeah, every girl wants a pair of red shoes, so it's really nice to do that. And also, because I'm a mother of two girls, but a godmother to boys you you want to cater for the, what the boys yes. need as well because they always get forgotten so you know the billy buds named after the, the britain opera and they're fabulous and hero loves these because she likes to to stroke and eat the fluff 
<laughs> Very helpful. And the boys have got, is it tartan lining for the boys? The boys get the tartan lining, which I've, actually nice. I'll show you in the shoe. I love these little shoes. These ones little are called bro. Romeo. Gorgeous. And they're great for school as well. And also the fact that they're so well made. So the scuffing, which is what drives every mother yes. mad. You buy the new shoes and they scuff them up within two days. But the boys have got a nice sort of tartan lining as well, which I thought was just really cute. I, I think, you know, when you're a tired mum and you go into the shop and everything can feel a bit like a day and I just wanted them to feel that, that you know, another mum would put a little bit of love, a little bit of thought into what the other mums were buying. Yeah, they're for the children. You want to give your children the best. But, you know, even just the little sort of details that we've incorporated, the boxes, the packaging, everything, I wanted it to feel like a treat and just to feel luxurious. Yeah, I think you absolutely have achieved that. I love the black Thank and you. gold on the boxes. And for some reason, I really want to take those red shoes home, but they're not my size. <laughs> Squeeze them in, Cinderella style. Squeeze them in. <laughs> So, Mylene, where can people go to find out more? Uh, just go to the website, startrightshoes.com. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.